I was thinking about our wedding day. And I remember when we danced. And you held me so close and you looked into my eyes. And even though I knew it before, I knew right then how much you loved me. And I do now, Richard. And when we're old and gray, we are going to dance at our 50th anniversary party. And it's going to be wonderful. But you have to come back to me. And you're going to come back to me. I don't care what the doctors say because they don't know you. They don't know us. he'd been wearing his seatbelt, he'd be walking today. They called in uh, other specialists? Yeah. Yeah, and they all say the same thing, you know. Spinal cord injuries are typical for auto accidents. And if it was just that they had to worry about, it'd be one thing. But the fact that they can't seem to relieve the pressure on his brain. And, of course, Cassie can't accept that. Well, if it were you, I wouldn't be able to accept it either. Is everything okay at home? I know that look. What's wrong? No, everything's fine. It's just the usual, you know, bedlam. Oh. Now these on the kitchen counter. I guess the kids must have been looking for it. Um, wedding photos. Yeah. So happy together. Mindy must have taken these, huh? It's hard to say. They were there were cameras on every table, I think. They're so beautiful together. What is it? What what's wrong? What what do you have there? I mean, they're perfect. Could he, could he be any more handsome? <laughs> could he take a better picture? He looks great. When he comes back to us, he is just going to love seeing these. Can I Can I take them in there and I talk to him? Okay. Yes, most definitely. You know, he can hear me. He can. And it's really important that he knows what's going on and that he knows that we believe in him. much as the next person, but she's deluding herself because the chances are... The chances are he's not going to make it. But if I can't even say it, then how is she going to accept it? A woman who loves him more than her own life. I don't know. to give up, but at the same time... At the same time, you're her sister, and you want to spare her as much pain as possible. But, Reva, this is, this is something she's going to have to come to all by herself. I just wish I'd told her that Richard had a new job at that car dealership, because then she probably would have gone to Chicago with him, and maybe they would have stopped for the night. You know what? People's lives are filled with maybes. You know, maybe if she had gone with them, she'd be in a hospital bed, be oh, here don't herself. don't even say that. I mean, that's the way life is. We make choices, we make decisions, and then we live with the consequences. Great. Then do you want to help me decide about telling her the truth and when? I think that when the time is right for Cassie to know the truth, you will know it too. And 
We'll deal with that. In the meantime... I wait. We all wait. Don't these look great? I mean, they're gonna look much better on the walls at the farm, but, you know, I guess this will just have to do for now. Well... Well, I think I can do better than this, you know, we have so many pictures, so I could, uh... I could bring some stuff from home, and... I don't have my purse with me, but, uh, you have some pictures in your wallet that would be perfect. All of these can go up. By present for RJ. <sighs> Call McBride to confirm car deal. Give final price. Well, I could handle that. Mr. McBride? Hi, um, this is Cassie Winslow, uh, I'm Richard Winslow's wife. No, we, we haven't met. I just wanted to call and let you know that Richard is in the hospital and, um, well, he's probably going to be here for a little while. So I don't know what kind of car that he was buying from you. Excuse me? You were buying a fleet of cars from Richard? I'm... I'm sorry, I, I just... I don't understand. No, I don't know when they're supposed to arrive. I don't know anything about this at all. I'm listening to every word you said, Mr. McBride, but just none of this makes sense to me. No. No, my husband is not a car salesman. He he's an ambassador too. Never mind. Look, you know, I'm sorry. I don't I don't know what else to say to you. I, I I don't. I just it's clear that someone is using his name to sell cars or you have my husband confused with someone else. Okay. We'll straighten all of this out after he recovers. Yes. Thank you. Yes, I understand everything you're saying to me. It's just that I didn't know this. No, no, that's not... You know what? This just really isn't a good time, so... Yes, I'll give Richard your best. Thank you. Hey, what is it? What's wrong? I, I, I just, I don't know. Well, did, did you talk to one of his doctors? No, that was the owner of a car dealership. Something, something is really weird here. And I need you to help me figure it out. What should you be doing with car dealerships? Uh, tell me again what the, the man said. The first man I spoke to said that he was buying a fleet of cars from Richard's company. We don't have company, let alone a car dealership. And what, what did the second man say? 
He said that Richard was working for him, that Richard was a new employee. Well, it, it does sound confusing, doesn't it? But you don't understand. Richard doesn't lie. I mean, he, he, he doesn't. I mean, he's been busy. Yeah, he's been working for San Cristobal. He's the ambassador. I mean, I thought that's why he went to Chicago the night Cassie. of the wedding. Honey. Uh, Richard, he ha hadn't been telling you the whole truth. What? He, uh, well, <laughs> you didn't know this, but your financial picture wasn't very stable. Yeah, but that's impossible. We, we just listen. To, try, try to listen to me. You and Richard had money problems, big problems. And Richard was trying to find a way to solve them without worrying you. This is crazy. Richard, we, we tell each other everything, and it was more than just the money, sweetie. He, he was trying to find a way to support you and the kids on his own. And then he was going to tell you everything. You know this. He told you? Richard told you and not me? Easy to explain. Well, please, my husband is fighting for his life and I'm just not finding out that I don't know what he's been doing for the past month. Okay, just listen to me, sweetie. And I don't understand at all why you know something so personal about our family, and I don't. Kathy, he was going to tell you. And it just, it meant so much to him, you know, that he was trying to make a future for you and the kids on his own, with his own talent and his own perseverance. And he told... You, my sister. I cannot get mad at you. I cannot, I cannot get mad at you, but we thought. Do you know where he was that night and you didn't tell me? I couldn't. I, I didn't want to give you any more to deal with. God, that wasn't your decision to make. I want to know everything. I want the truth, and I want to know it all, here and now. <laughs>